local as the hall spoke for at 8 o'clock, so those that want to get over to that stride stage meet can and will have plenty of time. Now, what's going on down at the Union, you all know as good as I. And any members of the type that I run into from time to time who say, oh, what good is the Union? Why should I pay my dues? Why? They could get a mighty good object lesson for what's going on down here at this Union and the battle for the seven and a half cents, whether they wouldn't be getting if it wasn't that this Union was sure as hell going to get that seven and a half cents. <laughs> all right, all right. Remember that the union should be first and foremost in our minds, second only to the tiny tops and kittens and our loved ones. Now, before we break up, we're going to have some entertainment. And I hope you'll all show a special courtesy because Gladys Hotchkiss and a couple of the cutting room folks have got up a special act that they want to come on and down here do for you. Now, if these good folks are good enough to come down here and do this act for you, why the least you can do is not sneak out the back door like last time, Cushing. Okay? <laughs> now, I hope you'll all show a special courtesy because this union is about getting hot. And fellow union members, that's what we are doing. Getting hot. <laughs>
I'm gonna head off to bed. You guys can stay a couple hours. Good night, dear. Good night. Can I sleep well? Thanks. Suppose let's start with the Pan American issue. I guess that's as good a place to start off as any. Hey there, you with the stars in your eyes. Love's never made a fool of you. Right there in bed I shaved What I said What 
I'm still in bed, I shake. And the lava drips, the bed gets laid. Oh, what a lousy shave I get, but think of the time I save. Think of the time he saves. Watch a seconds multiply at breakfast time. I grab a bowl, and in that bowl I drop an egg and add some juice. A poor excuse for what I crave. And then I add some oatmeal too, and it comes out tasting just like glue. But think of a time I say. Think of the time he say. I'll be sitting counting seconds till the day I die and when I do I have a plan Before I'm dead I'll dig my grave That's what I said Before I'm dead I'll dig my grave Cause when St. Peter calls my name Oh no I'll get there just the same But think of the time I'll save Think of the time I'll save Help it, it's the slowdown. Our teenage boy attacks school teacher. <laughs> Look, they'll go to the gym somewhere else if we don't make the deliveries. Well, that's not my department. Oh, teenage sex orgies revealed. Oh, how terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's sure more fun nowadays than when I was a kid. Somebody's being very cute. Cute? Sabotage! 
open rebellion. Oh, I'm not put this I can do it. What did you do, Vernon? I didn't do anything. You <laughs> didn't stop me. Hold your orders and take a stop. I'll be right down. Come on, Max. They think they can lick my red hat, so they got another thing coming. I'm a fighter. Damn communists! <laughs> <laughs> No. Two threads. That's what I gotta tell them. That there are two threads in every one of my pajama bottoms. Gladys, give me your entry. Quit for a while, we Mabel. <laughs> okay, I'll get something to settle my stomach. <laughs> I want this ready by the board director's meeting tomorrow. That's all. Mr. Hustler, I'd like to make a pitch. Okay, pitch ahead. Before I begin, let me make my position clear. I'm for the company first, last, and always. But labor problems have got to end up in one way. Compromise. Soroka, you've been around here long enough to learn a little something. But just seem a bit slow. I'm a fighter. Keep your dukes up, boy. Yes, but sir, you can't- Don't waste your breath on me. Keep your dukes up. What is that? Mr. Haas wants me to take boxing lessons. You certainly are a character. And I'd like to get some information from you, too. What kind? Double the entry. Well, you're not getting any information from me until there. Come here. I'm a desperate man. I hate to ask a cute kid like you to do me a favor, but... Sit, dear. You wouldn't have me violate trust now, would you? I sure would. It would help to install things around here. And why is that so important? Because my future depends upon the titanic struggle for pajama survival. Ah, you're a scream. And I just feel if I knew a little more about the bookkeeping of all this. Oh, no, not that. Oh, I wouldn't ask you to show it to me. Just leave it around. No, besides, it's locked anyhow. I know a sexy dame would love me to keep. Oh, you think so? Well, it'd be fun trying to persuade her. Well, it might be fun to be persuaded, <laughs> only you'd be awfully sore when you didn't get it. Oh, no, Gladys, I'm grown up. Quit kidding me. Look, I gotta go. No, wait. What? Let's go out tonight. I hope you're not serious about that key. I don't feel like being serious about anything. Ah, but you're busy, huh? No, and I sure would like to, but... Ah, oh, gee, where will you take me? Any place you stay. I know, a wonderful joint. I know a dark, secluded place. A place where no one knows your face. A black a wine, a fast embrace. It's called Hernando's Headway. Ole, all you see are silhouettes, and all you hear are castanets. And no one cares how late he gets. Not at Hernando's Headway. Ole. At the Golden Finger Bowl. Uncle Max and everyone you know When you are sitting close and making love to me You may take my heart You may take my soul But not my key Just knock three times and whisper low That you and I were sent by Joe Then strike a match and you will know Golden finger. Bowl.
That's fair enough. Oh, I'm Miss Williams. Can I speak to you? We'll wait for you downstairs, babe. Ooh. <laughs> Look, I know explanations don't want to hear it, Sid. Babe, please, you gotta let me explain. I would want an explanation. This has been humiliating. But you mustn't think that. I don't think anything. I don't care. Look, it's about you and Gladys. It's none of my business. Well, this is just great. Can't we even talk to each other and make sense anymore? I don't see how. Not until all of this is over. I've eaten my long enough. I've had Well, what do you suggest, Sid? Meet me after all. I can't. I've got a date. Well, that's that. I could break it. Sid, <laughs> I gotta warn you! We're not gonna have it on next screen, baby! No! You told yeah. yourself, Gladys. I'll fix everything. I'll take him aside and tell him the whole story. And in the meantime, here's your key. Listen, I think I heard something! <laughs> you maniac! The fool! You damn fool! I told you I heard something! You heard something, alright? Well, I'm glad he's got that out of the system. How do we know that he has? How do we know? Not that? Just calm down. It's gonna be alright. Now you stay here with me. Where it's in. So good. Sid, you gotta stop it! I'll fix that, baby. What are we gonna do? Just call that turn out to be something important! Oh, look, Mr. Pastor, I've really gotta explain something to you. Somebody better! Look out! Ah! figuring things out. I got it all written down here on paper. What do you mean, Tess? A king, I figured it out. He figured it out. I figured it out. He figured it out. With a pencil and a pad, I figured it out. Only five years from today. Only five years from today. I 
I can see it all before me Only five years from today Five years, now let's see That's 640 weeks times 40 hours every week And roughly two and a quarter hours overtime That time and a half for overtime Comes to exactly $311.42 Woo! That's enough for me to buy An automatic washing machine A year's supply of gasoline Carpeting for the living room Retroactive pet. We ain't giving up nothing. Sid, I don't know. Well, I do. We've won. We've won! Yeah. 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 See? I told you the show is awesome. Sid, you've been so wonderful. I can kiss you. Oh, I don't want to be kissed for settling a strike. Of course. If it's anything personal. Oh, it's very personal. It's embarrassing, I call it. <laughs> I love you. Tell me. I love you. Tell me. I love you. Tell me more. What a man, I'll tell ya. More than a lion loves his cub. More than a drinker loves his pub. More than a flatterer loves his bed. More than a guzzler loves his gin. More. 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 There was a man. Once a man who loved a woman. She was the one who slew the dragon ball.
will take you on the town's most exclusive, exclusive clubs, where parties be given jointly by Mr. Hassler and the Union. We are told to dress the occasion. <laughs> tradition where we uh, thank our seniors. Um, so uh, Kelly, our technical director, and Tris, our uh, band director, can you please come up here? Uh, before we thank our seniors, there's one other really special person we want to thank. Someone who's been organizing all these parents and pouring the food and just being an amazing support. Uh, please give up for our Kel! Um, but our first person is um, Tris Duncan. He came in last minute to, to cover for us. Please give it for Tris. Uh, why don't we start? Perfect. Um, well, I'd like to thank uh, everyone. 
everybody I had in the band, but um, let's we're doing the seniors. Seniors, yes. Okay. Uh, first, I'd like to start with Will Ball. Um, I just had the pleasure of meeting Will when I came in at the beginning of the quarter, and this is a very straight heavy show. Kelly, our technical director. Please give her Kelly an old <laughs> So, um, as many people know, I am new here. I have just been getting to uh, know these amazing seniors. Uh, it's been a pleasure to work with them. I hope that they will continue to be on the cabaret and the other fine shows that we'll be doing. But this is, for many of them, their last really big show. So, uh, many of them have been doing this since they were freshmen. Uh, it's been a huge commitment in time and energy and effort, and I'm super grateful. So first, uh, I want to bring up Soraya Denman. Uh. <laughs> so, uh, Soraya, uh, because there was a anyway, anyway. Um, Sarayan had to step back some from the show, but she was able to still contribute a whole bunch. She came in, uh, worked with Matthew, who's been her lighting protege, gave him a bunch of, I think, really good advice. We added a bunch of things. Um, she came up with some cool set dressing stuff as well, and just came and did all these things. I hope she continues to help out the rest of the year. Uh, an amazingly talented designer, and I hope she continues to keep doing this sort of thing with Gates College. Daniel Moyes, our sound guru. Woo! <laughs> Daniel has you did this all four years, right? No. 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 <laughs> all four year? Okay. So he got his foot putting together and then he uh, started off sophomore year. And he's been just a lifesaver since I've been here. He knows the system backwards and forwards. He's trained an amazingly talented uh, replacement, Ayla Rodriguez. Yes. And, and, um, but just has been always a font of knowledge and helpfulness. Whenever there's a question, we can always just ask Nathaniel and know we will get an answer. And the uh, great sound you heard tonight was because of it. So thank you. Very much. Next, 
Florian, come on now, Florian. Oh, yeah. So, Florian is a jack of all trades. He does sets, he does lights, he does whatever's required. He climbs on things, he makes weapons out of improvised tools, and I have to tell you about it. Um, we'll talk about that, Kelly. Yeah, well. <laughs> anyway, aside from those things, he is an amazing pleasure to have around. In addition to his talents, he's always sunny disposition, happy, ready with a joke, and just always a pleasure to work with. Every time he comes to a crew call or to work on a show, I know it's going to be more fun. And I really appreciate that. I hope you're around the rest of the show. And we'll like to have you more. Um, Alexandra uh, took over for costumes and props and painting this show. She stepped in uh, and after not doing much for the fall play, but then said, hey, I want to be more involved. And it was been really, really super amazing. These people look terrific. She helped take all of this, uh, paint, judge all of these things, and judge what's best for each character. I'm sure if you know anything about costume design, it is not just, oh, well, this fits. It's like, what goes with their character? What does it express about that person? And I think she did a great job. It looks wonderful. Thank you so much. And um, I really hope you keep doing this as well. Gianna. Yeah. Gianna Denman, if you heard her peers talking, you would know is the tech mom of all uh, Athenian. She is the one who makes it all happen. She will build things, she stage manages, she jumped in costuming because they needed more people. Um, whatever is required, she will do, and she will take the lead and get other people to do what they need to do. And maybe they're afraid of her, maybe they do it because they love her, probably a combination of both. <laughs> but she has been a gigantic help this year, um, trying to be the tech director first year, learning the ropes without her would have been darn near unthinkable. So thank you so much. We have some seniors in the cast, uh, with eight of them. Please give it up for Julian! <laughs> Julian is very quiet, but he's working behind the scenes as my assistant director. We spend hours, like four or five hours, talking about casting for all the shows. He's incredibly insightful and has this very calm demeanor that brings us to logic and reason when we need to be there. <laughs> He's also a secret actor. Last show he saved us when uh, someone was sick and just jumped right in there. And he played a great abusive boyfriend in Hollow as well. Um, and he's just a great guy. Thank you, Julian. pleasures of working for four years with someone is just seeing this person try all sorts of different things. Jackson's been an improviser, he's been an actor, he's been uh, Juliet. <laughs> uh, and he's a very accomplished director and film writer um, and it's so great to see that art come together and so excited for his future. You know for Jackson Young I remember, uh, well, one thing that makes me really laugh is during Steam Heat, a bot was always coming up with weird little comments, always improvising, and she started with improvisation with our Spring Improv troupe. She's the wittiest person, the fastest uh, wit in the Athenian uh, West or whatever, but she's so smart and she's been so helpful, not just on stage, but she's been helping with our marketing and coming up with our Love with Bugs and Love poster. We love her, thank you, Avon.
Woman. Um, she's done everything. She's performed as you've seen. She's uh, worked as a director and wrote her own play about the women's suffrage movement. Um, she's done improv. She did McBee, that name that shall not be said in the theater. Her freshman year, it was incredible. I love her, Molly. Just, and she's so humble and the kindest person you could ever meet. Thank you, Molly. Justine is the heart of our, our cast. Um, she's started with us, This Could Be Us, with Forrest and the audience and uh, many of these folks. And she just uh, just wonderful on stage. As you can see, she's an incredible comedic actress. But she's also someone who just brings her heart to us as a community and brings us together. Uh, last night when she got on stage, it was just like the whole crowd's like, Justine. And it's because she is so genuine. She cares, and there's no guile at all. Just uh, love her to death. Thank you so much. For being here. Uh, I can't believe we're here. Uh, it's also, we've been together since this could be us, and uh, just doing so many shows, so many great shows. Uh, last year with Bugsy Malone and Blousey. Um, throwing water in Boris's face in freshman year, um, <laughs> directing and writing her own film. Um, she's incredibly talented and I'm so excited for her future. Thank you so much, Hannah. Yeah. Sadly, but then uh, in the Into the Woods, you know, the first freshman year, <laughs> way back, four years ago. Uh, but then Into the Woods, he took the stage as Milky White. He stole the play without having a line or singing the songs just by being this incredible presence, comedic ability and timing. And you've seen that on stage with Hines and all throughout his plays. He's an incredible comedic actor, but he's also showed a very serious side with our fall plays and shown that he's got a huge range and it's going to be missing to death. Thank you, Willis Paula. And our final uh, casting here with 11 shows, it's Joey! Yeah. Joey's done more shows. I remember he was on that platform freshman year. Delia slapped him in the face in that uh, 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 prom. Yeah. Thing. Um, and he's done every show since then. He's been a huge member of an improv troupe. He's an incredible improviser and musical and rap improviser. Um, he always makes us laugh. I've never, yesterday, if you got on stage, you just got applause just for getting up there. And you've got this charisma that can be beat. And we love your joyness and your uh, Dushan Mertz-ness uh, Pez thing that is amazing. So thank you, Joey. You're awesome. Here. I got these flowers. <laughs> and these are for Peter. Where is he? Come on up here. I think it's fair to say that Peter and I have had like a long relationship. Uh, I kind of love hate sometimes, you know, things don't always go according to plan. But uh, like over the years, I've really grown to like, and I think everybody, I like, I speak for everyone. I say this, like we've grown to appreciate you as like the the force out of the that you are and the pillar that you are. You've been here for like 14 years, and I like you're like when I think drama, I think Peter Tamara Bush. <laughs> you have this like ability to like know, like have this vision in your mind of what you want it to look like, and it like helps all of us. And I just want to appreciate you for everything that you've done. Thank you. Hey, Kelly! Kelly! 
joined us at the beginning of this year, he was stepping into some massive <laughs> shoes that were left by Mark Mendelssohn. And to top that, he didn't have as big of a crew as we had in the past year. But when you add all that up, we get this set. Come on guys, this is epic. Yeah, so I think it's safe to say that this department would not be as good without Kelly, specifically because, I mean, yeah. Lights, set, sound, all that. Yeah, Kelly. So, so in the music industry, it's all about improv and giving back. We just got these flowers, so. <laughs> Years. Um, this is the last year. Stepped in for us for the advanced combo because Steven's not feeling so well. So um, he's the man for the job. Uh, my first year, I didn't really think about playing the musical, um, and it was quite a kahoot uh, with Into the Woods. Yeah, it was kind of a little tough. But with Tris, it was a really fun experience playing all the notes. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the pit would be the same with any other person. Uh, he's just the right amount of serious and and uh, play, I guess. And so we all have a fun time. This was like our largest pit in, in the four years that I've done this, and it's just a real pleasure to work with this man. It's incredible. It's who's done so much for this yeah. show. Okay, now we're done. 